freestyle is very hard and many moves take years to land, but what if you're just getting started and you want to learn some cool beginner moves? Well, this video is specifically made for you. It might be tempting for some people to jump straight into the more difficult moves, but it's actually better to learn freestyle step by step. So here are three beginner moves that you can learn even though you're not 100% consistent at juggling with both feet. First up, we have a flick up that I don't really have a name for, but it looks a little something like this. Okay, so start off with the ball on the ground with your foot behind the ball angled like this. Make sure there are a little bit of space between the ball and your foot. Now, heel the ball with your other foot and try to aim for the knuckle on your big toe. And if you hit it hard enough, the ball will bounce up. But if it doesn't, you can try to help out a little bit by lifting your toes like this. When doing this trick, there are a few mistakes you want to avoid. For example, you don't want to get too close to the ball because when you heal the ball, you won't generate that same power and you won't get that flick. Also, make sure that you have that little angle on your foot towards the ball because if you flick the ball straight on, you won't get that flick high enough. Next up, we have the knee catch crossover. It's an easy way to learn a crossover before you have gotten started with juggling. So you want to start with a ball firmly gripped between your knees like this. Now take one leg in front of the other one with your feet crossed like this with one knee in front of the other. While in this position, you want to release the ball towards your planted foot. As the ball goes down, make a small jump and keep your legs crossed at the same time. Now keep your toes pointing upwards and land it. But it's very important that throughout the whole move that you keep your legs crossed. When you feel confident with this move, you can take all these three steps and make it into one motion. So instead of stopping in this position right here, you can go straight in and land it. Lastly, we got the block hop around the world, which is basically an around the world, but you start off in a blocking position and you end up in a blocking position with the ball firmly gripped between those ankle knuckles that really hurts when you get a kick on them. Start off by clinching the ball in between those ankle knuckles and make sure to keep some space between the ground and the ball. Now, you want to twist towards the side you're doing the around the world on. In my case, it's my right. Now you need to do a small jump and an around the world motion at the same time as you release the ball. Like this. But when the ball is coming down, you need to anticipate where the ball is gonna land and you're gonna catch it again at the same position as you started. One thing to note though is that you want to do the around the world on the side of your body, not in front of you, because it will make it a lot easier. But this move is quite awkward, so it will take some time to get used to the movement and it will take a lot of training before you land it. But just go out there, train until you get it. So that was it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like and a comment down below on what types of moves you want me to teach you guys in the next video. Also make sure to subscribe with bell notifications on. And here, down here, is a playlist and you can check out some more tutorials on learning how to do more skills and even some skills on the pitch. And also in the description, there is a link to the unisportstore.com where you can get some of the fresh gear that I'm wearing right now. And until next time, see you guys.